has his hands tied. Uh, he has uh, a hood over his head, uh, and uh, he he screams for mercy. He may even cry out uh, that that I'm the wrong person. I didn't do it. I just couldn't accept the execution, the vicious murder of a six-month-old child. So that in the truth of the child, a little baby, I just could not accept it. There is a struggle as the, the noose is put around uh, the man's neck. Uh, he is standing on the trap door, and then uh, the trap door suddenly gives way, and uh, down he goes. In the original state of nature, where life was short, nasty, brutish, a man used to fight one another and kill one another. And man realized they must enter a social contract to protect this life. And simply, you don't kill me, and I would not kill you. And if you kill me, you have forfeited the right to live, not a life. You never had the right to life. You just appear on the face of this earth. Because death is not instantaneous, and the chap uh, has to drop so many feet, um, and the neck is supposed to be broken, uh, the whole body is in convulsion. Uh, and um, it, it is terribly gruesome. Last week, two more men in death row had their death warrants read to them. They were to be hanged tomorrow. It's a row of cells. They are caged up like animals, really, like monkeys on the bar. And um, just the front blocks, uh, 50 men here. 50 on the opposite side. It's very hot in there. It's very dark. The decision to hang has brought out almost a primal cry for blood in most and horror of retribution in others. The population is saying that there should be execution. It's not an enlightened leadership or an uh, elitist class running the society. It's the population at large, and the population by and large are the poor people in this country, and it's poor people commit crimes, and they are saying it affects our class. Yes, we like execution for brutal murders. I, I am passionately against the death penalty, strictly on religious grounds, or you can say humanitarian grounds. I think it's, it's a cruel, it's barbaric, it's a relic from the dark ages, it has absolutely no place whatever in a Christian society just as ours. Whereas the individual by himself may pull the trigger, the individual on the other hand wants the state to drop the trap door. But the feelings there, um, are, 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 to me, are, are similar. The arguments on all sides are compelling. But this one makes you part of the problem and also the solution. We tend to step back and think, well, we haven't done it. We are, we are innocent. We are pure. And that fellow who has done it is a devil. So let's get rid of him. But my concern is for future victims. That's what my concern is all about. My concern is the social and the psychological factors in this society that are producing all these criminals. My concern is to prevent more little children being raped or being murdered. That's my concern. Nineteen years ago, the government set up a commission of inquiry to look into prison and penal reform. Eight years later, this comprehensive document was completed in 1980. Among its recommendations are that there should be degrees of murder and that not all murderers should be hanged. Needless to say, the report was shelved and was never in circulation to be out of it. That was 12 years ago. If that were on the statute books, death row would not be as crowded as it is. Here is the path on which two widely differing views on capital punishment could meet. Instituting degrees of murder would account for genuine human and societal failings and put really vicious murderers to death. Revenge may be sweet, but to what cost? Think about it. Ira Mathur, TV6 News, with a special report.